James Carson Elementary is a state-of-the-art facility. Mr. Carson, for whom the school is named, explores the school and peeks into classrooms on a regular basis. It makes me tingle all over it to think that, the, that my name is on the building out there and all these kiddos and the fine teachers here that I've met, are, are they're here to learn and they are to, to grow and to build character and that sort of thing. It's just something that's so pleasing that I can't, can't believe it. Students at Carson have a lot of pride in their brand new school. Mr. Carson had no idea that he would spend most his life as an educator. I was born and raised way out in the boonies, and I thought that, I, that I'd always be out in the boonies. So I thought that, no, I'd be a rancher, I'd be a farmer, I'd be something in agriculture when I was growing up, and I never did give it much thought. And then along, somebody says, well, you need to go to A&M and major in animal husbandry. And I thought about it, but I didn't. And I did get a football scholarship at a small college and played football one year. And from there, I went into service. And my life began to change a lot then. After spending 33 years as an elementary principal, Mr. Carson is honored to have a school named after him. Well, it's hard to describe. It's just something that I never dreamed had ever come my way, and uh, when it did, it was so overwhelming that I was in shock for a long time. So I'm um, still in shock, but I feel kind of funny when I drive up out there and see my name on the building. It's just one of those things that I can't describe. Mr. Carson considers himself very lucky. He watched his school being built from the ground up. I like the idea of the library being the hub of the school in the center and then the wings out from it and the, the, the reading corner in there and the uh, little 
the crayons for the pillars there, I think that's priceless. And the other thing that I really think is unique is, uh, is the amphitheater out there. It's just really great. I know where I was before, we had to build those things, you know, and uh, they weren't nearly as good as this one out here, of course. I don't know when I've ever been in a school that the teachers, the staff, they're so happy, outgoing, and everybody says, oh, I just love it here, you know, just love it here. And that's music to my ears because it would be kind of bad if I walked in here with my name on the building. <laughs> everybody was, uh, you know, well, I'm here and that's about it. <laughs> uh, but it's not that way. Everybody's done such a fine job. Students did a little research of their own. They wanted to find out all they could about their school's namesake, James Carson. Howdy! We've been rounding up the letters! A is for admire. B is for believing us. C is for children who you've always put first. X marks this spot, our beautiful new school. Y is for you, who will never forget. Z is for zillions of children's lives you will touch. There's no doubt about it. From A to Z, Mr. Carson, you're the best. Throughout James Carson's 33 years in education, he has always put the children first. To always put the student first, to always understand that's what school is about, to, um, to educate children. Um, if they get a good start in elementary school, kindergarten on up, uh, chances are good that they're going to be a good student in, in uh, high school and in college. And uh, so if it, everything that we do, if we'll do it, with the student in mind, I think a school can't help but be successful. No matter which way you look at it, James Carson Elementary is the best! Thank you, James Carson, for your three decades of service to Northside students and the Northside community.